Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you what AP Twitch Jungle can do after the bus. For those of you who aren't aware, his passive and his E both got an AP scaling buff, making it that much more appetizing to build AP. This game we have double AD on our team with MF and Darius, so we can definitely get away with going AP. It'll mainly just be me and the Zerath. You can go for Red Smite or Blue Smite. I prefer Blue Smite for kiting out. For your runes on AP Twitch Jungle, you're best off with Hell Blade, Sun Impact, Eyeballs, Treasure Hunter because it's all about the dark seal stacks if you don't take hella blades it's very challenging to get the dark seal stacks early your next best option is with dark harvest instead of hella blades but hella blades is a bit more consistent secondary runes go alacrity coup de gras attack speed 80 and armor we'll go ahead and start leash right here Ooh. all right they lost their ward i think should we just stay or this is a weird start for twitch Normally, you just start with your bot lane for best leash possible. They clearly knew we were here, though, to where this is going to slow us down a lot. We're all taking damage. This is a really dumb situation. They didn't start, but they like knew we were over there somehow. I don't know. That's going to slow us down. Oh, well. We'll do blue buff into our gromp, into red buff. I'm a little nervous Maokai's over here. Okay, good. He's on his jungle. He's actually going to take that really slow with how he started. We're going to hit it with an auto attack, activate our Q. Our invisibility will cancel his auto and make him stand still. Use your E once you have full stacks. Also keep in mind your E is your longest range ability in the game, even longer than your R range. So if you're only going to be able to use it once in a fight or a gank, use it last because it outranges everything else. To it's hard for them to escape it, but it's easy for them to get away from your auto attacks. Hopefully that makes sense. We'll take red buff and then a look for a gank. You can look for a gank after blue. It's generally not worth it since you don't have that extra burst from red buff plus red buff slow. Level three gank twitch, twitch ganks is really where it's at. We're gonna activate Q, hit it with an auto. He'll get stopped. Now we gotta kite it out. You can comfortably take Krogs on Twitch as long as you have smite. You don't really take damage from the camp and you actually kind of heal off of it. I'm putting a lot of space in between my autos on this guy. I'm actually going to just smite him. So I want to get my uh, HP back. The Blanc's not even that low on HP. I don't know why he's pinging. She's basically half HP. Get her with our W. And we straight up missed our W. Auto attack into E. Down he goes. I want to try to soak this XP. I'll go ahead and just reset right here and get as much as I can. We're sitting on a decent back. Even though our red buff is still fresh, and it kind of sucks to reset with it. We got a lot of XP. We can't fight for Scuttle since we're missing a lot of HP. When we show top, their general will know, hey, Twitch is low. He's going to want to fight for Scuttle. So that's a big no-no. As any jungler, if you're low HP after a gank and Scuttles are up, you don't walk to the Scuttle unless you know where the enemy jungler is because odds are they're going to kill you over there. Really good reset. Boots plus Dark Seal, exactly what you need on Twitch. Any kill heavy AP jungler such as Twitch or Evelyn is going to be Dark Seal Mesh Reliant. We're going to Q in for the extra movement speed. My teammates went in way too early though. I feel like they didn't even see me, so they just went in. Auto attack. Got barely finished him off with our E. We see Maokai's mid. We'll go rush Scuttle. Luckily, we had Flash, and Lulu didn't have her Flash, so we picked it up. Maokai's kind of low on health himself. Maokai's a slow start jungler. His full clear is the same speed as a Zac, not the fastest in the world. I'm holding on to my W. It doesn't really help you with Scuttle so much. Might as well save that for the gank. 13 second cooldown. I think we should actually just leave it. Zeras out of mana. How's he going to help me? He's going to get one shot by LeBlanc. She's going to dash back off the same ability he's gonna die and then i'm not gonna be able to finish her would be exactly what would happen there she'd pop electrocute which is up right now i can't save him Le leblanc's gonna be fed and i accept that i was considering taking red smite because of Le leblanc quinn blue smite's so much better for kiting and for ganks though i really do prefer blue smite ever since they nerfed red smite from 20 percent damage reduction to 10 it was such a nasty nerf Get a W behind her. Leona can catch up. AP Twitch W is nasty. 
Tw AP Twitch, your W scales off of your AP. So instead of a 30% slow right now, it's a 33% slow, and that gets much, 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 much higher. When you're full AP Twitch, it basically gets all the way up to like. When it's maxed out, it's like 70% movement speed slow. I'll catch a little bit of XP here. Uh, am I going to be in range for the cannon here? Oh, we weren't in range for the cannon. We are in range here. You shouldn't really take your raptors too early in the game. Because you take a lot of damage for it. I didn't kite them out because I was soaking the minion XP over the wall. Soaking minion XP is the main way you don't fall behind in level on Twitch. Level 5-6 minute mark isn't too shabby. Darius wants to reset. That's fine. The way you want to take the Krugs is kite the, <clears throat> the big one. And make sure the medium one gets in the way. Make sure you're using your Q to cancel autos if you can. And we only soaked one auto from the big one, which means we're essentially healing off of this camp. Quinn shoving in a big wave. Very, very, very gankable right now. Bot lane's very gankable as well. My only ungankable lane is Zerath because he's behind. LeBlanc is fed, and ganking LeBlanc is never easy. Her passive and double dashes is super annoying. Gonna go in for an auto attack and a W here. She ended up getting a very bad dash there. She can't get away like that. The Quinn speed up doesn't work if she's in combat. I don't want to steal his last hits. I just want to steal the XP. And he can crash this wave. So I'm going to look for the reset. We're level 6 seven, pre-7 seven minute 30 on Twitch jungle. That's really good. Hopefully Quinn misses some minions. This will also fo force her back top lane. We can go for Mej at this point. It's really risky though, so keep that in mind. If you are going to get Mej, you have to be paying attention to the minimap. Right here, whenever you're farming or just walking, look on the minimap. Either if it's like this, you're staring at it, or if you're actually clicking over there or using the F keys like this. So we see LeBlanc's mid, Quinn top, two bot. We're probably safe to gank bot lane since they're behind and my bot lane's ahead. Even if their jungler shows up, we'll probably live. Mej is not strong until you have 10 or more stacks on it, so don't throw away the stacks you've already built up. It's a quick way to lose. Lucids are nice on AP Twitch since your main source of damage does come from your abilities, primarily your E. AP Twitch gets a lot done with Lucidities, and they're cheaper than Sorks. Got a W on him, auto attack. Ooh, an R. I got kind of scared there. The Maokai spooked me a bit. He's thinking about engaging off of it. I'm glad I have wards down over here. It looks like LeBlanc's just going to reset. Zerath's most likely getting frustrated. It is what it is, though. LeBlanc's an early game champion. All he needed to do was survive, even if he was going to be down CS, as long as he didn't die. The game would be really easy for him in team fights. We have Leona Darius to front line. The game's going to get very challenging for Zerath here. Activate Q, auto attack. And this is where farming gets easy. Your E chunks, we have lucids for the lower cooldown, and we're moving really fast off of Mej. Really, 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 really fast. Twitch doesn't have high base movement speed. 330 is kind of on the lower side. We're moving 413. Most champions with tier 2 boots move around 370 to 385. We're moving 413. It's really fast because Mej is plus 10% plus, uh, movement speed. Auto attack in the E. We need just one more E here. I'm gonna get in smite. I wanna get my health back. The block's not a full item, so she's kinda gankable as long as no one else shows up. Quinn's missing, Maokai's missing, and this is warded. Zerath broke vision on brush, so I had to waste my W. Your W does give you vision. It's a good way to scout things out. Since she's not a full item, that's the only thing that makes her gankable. She does have tier 2 boots, though, so... I have Flash. I can escape if she's bush camping over here. Looks like Quinn's going for it. I'm going to head over. Quinn is just tier 2 boots, no full item. She's pretty weak. She's going to get herself killed. Pop that. Get the Q reset. My bot lane didn't follow that up at all. 
When you're on your R, you get extra range and extra AD. Your R is more useful for AD Twitch than AP Twitch. But still, 40 AD is 40 AD. <laughs> Leona is not looking to engage off that auto attack W reset. I completely whiffed my W. Why is she so tanky? She's actually so tanky. I gotta leave now. LeBlanc's rotating. I gotta get out of here, man. Quinn's top side. I don't know where LeBlanc is still. Hey, friend. I'll attack into the W. Pop with the E, down she goes. Your W does outrange your auto attack. So in that situation, it kind of felt better to W last. Usually you'll auto attack then W. You'd use it as an auto reset. You'll usually use it like this, auto then W. And make sure you place it on top of them. Save the, my E, because your W applies three stacks of your... Uh, how many stacks does it apply? Each second, and it lasts for three. Oh, I'm struck. Okay, so it applies up to four stacks total. Yeah, it applies up to four stacks, four stacks total, and your passive stacks up to six. So one good W basically full stacks your passive for you. All you need is two auto attacks, and you're full stacked. Our R is back up. We could definitely look for a gank. You don't really run out of mana on Twitch jungle. Whenever you're in the jungle or in the river areas, you're getting a lot of mana back. Our E's on a low enough cooldown. We can kite out of camp like this and just finish it off. We don't have to sit there. <gasps> Every last auto attack we could just pull it out with the E. Seraphine's about to run into us. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. I should have just popped. I should have popped that plant really early. I made the mistake of leaving that up. And she, Seraphine's so tanky off double shields. That's my bad. Oh well. She is low on HP. We can scoot back in for a kill on her here. We we'll do that here in a moment. The best rules to play AP Twitch is his support in his jungle. His AD carry, it's not as good. To play him AP as it is support Jung. Oh, this is bad. Ooh. All right, we're gonna Q speed up away. Blanc's coming to eat our liver. Okay, we're out of here, dude. We are out of here. Get him with a slow, save the MF. Hero of the day, let's go. <laughs> Twitch is not easy to chase. Kills and assists resets your Q. 10 seconds of bonus movement speed and invisibility is not easy to chase at all. They're, they're going to take Dragon here. There's nothing I can do about it either. We'll give it. Nearly full stacked Mesh, and we can get our first item. Crown of the Shattered Queens, incredibly inexpensive, and it keeps you alive. Only 2,800 gold. Pretty cheap compared to 80 Mythics. 80 Mythics are around 32, 3,400. Let's see, 80 carry Mythics. Yeah, 34, 31, 34. Yeah, around 3,400. So we're saving 600 gold, and this will preserve our mesh stacks as well as a shield bow would, except we can still be AP. And chunk them with true damage on passive, because your passive doesn't scale off of AD. It scales off of AP. And so does your E. Auto attack and a W. Hit her with a blue smite. Down she goes. I eat a little on the early side there. We, we could have definitely saved it for a few more autos. Thing is, our passive was fully stacked, and I thought my E would kill her. It didn't quite kill her, though, because it was shields. Don't know where LeBlanc is. This is a dangerous position to be in. We're super far forward with nothing to really gain out of it. We're already full stacked magic. All we need to do is play for objectives at this point, and we win by default. When you already have the weapons, you have the vehicles, and you have rebels coming at you, the only way you lose is by throwing. You just gotta stay on track and crush them.
go to the objectives, force them to come to you. I say that as I charge in here. Yes, I understand the uh, hypocrisy. LeBlanc's deep in our jungle right now. Question is, can we find her? Maybe it's not even worth finding her. She's not even full item yet. She must be sitting on a lot of gold. Darius is stealing my red buff. That is a rat move. What a little, little butthole. Okay, good. He stopped taking it. Oh, no, he did. He stole it. That freaking turd burglar. Red buff is Twitch's buff. And then he's going to go take Scuttle. What a troll, dude. Now he's going to try to steal Harold, I suppose. Yeah, what a turd. He thought about stealing it from me, too. Uh, what is he doing? He doesn't want Quinn. Auto attack W. I miss my W flat out. I'm going to have to flash for this. I'm not sure if my passive would have killed her or not. I'd rather flash and guarantee her death than her live with 10 HP. She may have just died from my passive, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll be taking that, Darius. He doesn't realize I just got more golden XP than he got from all those monsters he just took. Minions are worth way more than monsters. If anything, we should have shared those minions and both gotten the majority of the total XP. It's not a bad time to lay Harold. This turret's low anyways. We could take it without Harold. They don't have the uh, structure here to defend it. They don't have enough people. Oh. This is why it's nice to have this item. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> it's so OP. Seraphine R has Lux level 1 range. Lux R range. What is that? There goes Darius. My boy. Look at him go. We need Zhonya's 100%. Without Zhonya's, we're going to die every single fight without exception. It's amazing how much damage we've reduced on this. Total damage block, 1,300 already. And we've barely been attacked since we bought it. It's really, really good. I like it a lot. Extra movement speed as well. 1% per completed item, including mesh. I like it a lot. If Maokai goes to snare us, we'll die. If we can Zhonya's him to where we block his snare and basically his Q damage. We should be able to survive while our teammates kill them. It's all about surviving long enough to land multiple E's on the enemy. Also, our W is a 47% slow AoE. Three seconds. It's a long time. I would like it if Twitch Passive did bonus damage against monsters. That would truly make him an S tier jungler. The biggest thing holding back Twitch is he's forced to play kill heavy. He doesn't have the option of a Kane or a Karthus to sit back and AFK power farm. It doesn't exist. So if the game ends up playing really slow and the enemies don't play in a way to where you can gank any of them, it puts, it puts Twitch into a box where he's a subpar choice. Down she goes. Nice try, LeBlanc. She chunked me a little bit. Mainly just took off my item. We have 60 seconds to lay this. Let's check brush and red buff. Same time. It's not here. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Why is LeBlanc here? Why? 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 My teammates are over here. I must have been on a ward again. They both randomly rotated to a red buff that wasn't even there. That sucks. I just gave another fat shot down. This LeBlanc so fed too. On the bright side, LeBlanc falls off and we don't. She's already fallen off because our crown of the Shattered Queen. She can't burst us. If she tries to one-shot us, she does less than half of our health. She's only killing us because I'm positioning freaking terrible right now. Really greedy positioning on my part. If we don't know where the people are on the map, we can't go into dangerous locations or we'll die. Can't blind face check 
enemy territory when you legit don't see people on the mini map. Three or four of them were missing and I was blind face checking brush. Bad idea. They're playing super desperate just trying to kill me. That they're likely just hiding in brushes waiting to do that very said thing. We're going to win off of objectives, not off of kills. AP Twitch jungle isn't as good as AD Twitch jungle for taking dragons. He does have a really strong smite though for an E smite. Because our E is doing... Uh... <laughs> It's literally doing almost a thousand damage when it's full when our passives full stacked on them. Quinn's top side. I see where the LeBlanc is. I have a teammate in front of me. We're safe. Do it. Wow, she actually didn't do it. What a coward. Yeah, suck it, Maokai, you little butthole. Die! We got Q resets. Get to go back in. Ooh, the block's scaring me. She she literally just zonyed. She literally just zonyed my E. Your E technically has a travel time. Literally travels. She zonyed at the pinpoint perfect time to where not only did she put my E on cooldown, but she took zero damage from it. Pretty much worst possible situation there. Luckily, we had Flash to get away. Is Wrath trying to steal this? No, he's trying to get the Quinn. How fast is she moving? Oh, she's not even on R. She's dead then. Can't even see her. That's weird. Boop. We get some stacks for the Mesh. These little buttholes keep taking our red buff. Don't they realize Twitch kind of needs red buff? Outrageous. I hate I hate this type of solo queue mentality. Just because you're not dueled with someone, you're going to take their stuff. Maybe she does need it to complete an item, but I mean, there's a minion wave right there. She better be able to complete that item. Okay. She did it for a BF sword. I need to get out of here. This is a terrible position. I'm low HP. I don't have red buff. Riftmaker is viable on AP Twitch. The uh, crown is way better if they have an assassin. He's had Tal and LeBlanc. You kind of need it. Psych! That's what you get, MF. Oh, <laughs> I walked away like she could have it. So, oh, thanks. I was just taking it. I'm thinking Robidon or Void Staff here. Void Staff's really good, but so is Robidon. I don't have the gold for Void for Robidon right now though, so we'll go Void Staff. You, you generally lean more towards Robba on Twitch than Void, because Twitch has a lot of true damage on his passive. 95 damage when it's full stack per second for six seconds. That's nearly 600 true damage off of a full stack passive. And that's assuming I don't reapply it. Because if it's about to end and I hit him again with an auto or a W, then they're going to still take 600 more true damage over 6 seconds. So, generally more AP is better than magic penetration on Twitch, but your E is still a lot of magic damage. Goodbye, Quinn. You have nowhere to go. Don't know if she's intentionally trying to die there or if she's looking for a pick. She can't pick anyone on our team is the unfortunate thing for her. That's gross. Way too fast. I wonder if she has Nimbus, because holy crap, she went turbo mode there. Hey, LeBlanc. Do a chunk of her health. We took zero damage because Crown is broken versus assassins like LeBlanc. Probably the best item you can have versus her. She's dead. My poison was going to kill her too. Our poison's doing a fudge load of damage. Hey, friend. Yeah! I almost got her with my E. Yeah, 
get him, Zeraph. The pressure. The pressure is mounting on them. We have enough attack speed off of our Q. Should be able to get that turret. Oh, Zeraph stopped autoing it, and so did I. At least it's just an execute. Who's alive? Quinn? Quinn, Seraphine, Lulu. Quinn might have rage quit. One in nine. She got Gaga camped. She got camped really, really hard. It's definitely time to do dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I made it look like... I don't know. I was trying to make it look like I was just using my E on the dragon. <laughs> but... <laughs> Oh, uh, we got the scuttle. Sick. They really timed that well. It's hard to outsmite a Twitch, though. My Twitch E damage is doing like more damage than a Nunu new Q. He actually just tried to steal our blue buff. What a turd bag. Are we going to get a red buff? No way. Our own red buff. The best way to handle Twitch jungle is to try to invade him early. He, it's harder for tank junglers like Nunu, Zac, Malkai to do that effectively. It's generally things like Kindred, Graves, uh, even Warwick, that type of stuff. You can pressure him early, pull off an infect if effective invade is what slows him down a lot. If you can slow down his level 3, slow down his level 6. You don't even have to steal his Raptors. Twitch is bad at farming Raptors as it is. LeBlanc just, LeBlanc just peeled off my item. Now it's on cooldown. That's what she's trying to do. Are you serious? She missed me with two skill shots and I die. Holy crap. I mean, I have some HP items too. I'm 350 bonus HP. Same level as her. It's kind of ridiculous. Morello doesn't make a lot of sense on Twitch. I'll just go for Robidon at this point. I'll end up selling my Blasting Wand. Once our crown gets pulled off, if LeBlanc is still alive, we have to sit back. She can kill us missing both of her dashes. Mimic. Dashes to the location. It says she hit us with a dash. I didn't think she did. I guess she only missed one of them. I know she didn't hit us with both. She might have hit us with one dash. I'll grab red buff and head over there. My team's fighting to the death anyways. I wouldn't have been there in time. I'm coming, boys. Level 15. Let's go. W is now a 66% slow. It should only be a 40% right now. So we're getting a 26% additional off our EP. Once again, your passive your, and your W don't scale off of AD. Oh, why are you here? Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Soaked all their R's. Still nearly killed Lulu. Does she die? Does she die? Does she die? Yes! Feels bad for Lulu. Meow. Down she goes. Quinn hits me randomly. Must have walked into her. Didn't even realize it. Freaking hilarious, man. Lulu's shielding herself. The Seraphine's shielding her, but our... Our uh, pass is doing 600 true damage over 6 seconds. True damage does not interact with damage reduction. Tenacity. Magic resist. Or armor. Back in the Q resets. Reset champions are so good for carrying. You stay alive, you get a kill, you win the game. Oh, you guys are playing on Fountain, I see. Looks like a safe place. <laughs> they don't want to surrender, they just want to play on Fountain.
we lost our uh, tempo there. Get me out! Popped with a little E. My crown is on a cooldown. LeBlanc's making me nervous. Gotta get out of here. Leon is in too deep. They really did get saved by the bell there. Their inhib was nearly dead. Their inhib came back up. Fortunate for them. Also kind of fortunate for me. I'm having fun. I don't mind if this game drags on a little bit longer. Should die from my... Uh, oh, well. Cannon killed it. We should be able to get robbed on here if I sell Blasting on. Let's go for Dragon real quick. It's only two of them over there. I'll lay my word on it here in a second. There we go. They are not even starting it. We have time then. Get with my W. Pop with the R. My autos are missing. Twitch R's can be dodged if you're fast enough. They're basically super fast skill shots. So they can outrun it. Your R only travels X distance. And if they run past it because they're fast enough and you're shooting at max range your autos will just straight up miss it's so annoying i wish it wasn't like that but it is Ooh, get wrecked okay i'm gonna die this was not worth i regret everything <laughs> i can't they're just hiding the fountain they both hide on fountain while maokai cc's the fudge out of me full tank MR Maokai. What a fun game, dude. The type of people who don't want to surrender, they want to play on Fountain. I don't think they even outscale us. It is not easy to outscale an MF. MF's R is the highest 80 scaling ability in the whole game. Uh, it scales somewhere over... I don't want to give you the wrong number, but just go look it up yourself. It is ridiculous scaling. It is the highest. There's not a single ability in the game, AD ability in the game that outscales MF R off AD scaling. You can't outscale MF. You, ha you have to stop her R. If she lands a big R in a team fight, you will lose unless you have Taric R or unless you stop her R. Darius going in, 1v4, he's about to die. The Seraphine and Lulu are being ridiculously annoying at this point. How does it have that much range, though, dude? Sarah, whoa, oh my gosh, you won't die. Do they not have heal cut on him? They legit don't. <laughs> they didn't build heal cut. They can't kill. <laughs> they can't kill Darius. I think that's the game. I didn't even get to be a part of it, but what a boat of fun. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the most on our team. Not quite the most in the game, however, for damage taken, pretty high. You don't typically want to be this high damage taken on in your team. It's partly high because we were borderline inting the last couple of devs, but uh, Leona should have been a little bit higher than that for sure. Darius tanked a lot. Holy crap. For self-mitigated, I'm going to be pretty low. Yep, pretty low. To be expected for runes, really high value. AP Twitch jungle is a blast to play. So much fun. You guys should definitely give it a try. Just practice your kiting. Otherwise, it's going to be a hard time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.